Hey guys, it's Chris here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Deluxe Series of RAV Power's Portable Battery Packs. I would like to thank RAV Power for sponsoring this review. The Deluxe Series has two types, the 13,000 and 15,000 milliamp hour battery pack. They are completely identical and come with the same cables and connections. The only difference is the power capacity on each battery. I give this product an overall rating of 8 out of 10. As for what I believe is your money's worth, get the 15,000 milliamp hour battery pack. At currently $37 on Amazon, you pay an extra dollar for an additional 200 milliamp hour. Now before I move on, $37 seems like a premium price, but I believe this is a premium product. The battery is made by Samsung, and for me, that somewhat guarantees a reliable product. So the packaging is nice and simple. You get a thank you per purchasing card, a user manual, and a warranty card that extends your current 6 month warranty to a total of 18 months. Aside from that, I was surprised with the bonus of cables and connectors you get when you purchase this battery pack. You have two USB to micro USB ribbon cables, a micro USB to 30 pin adapter connector that fits with previous Apple products, and a micro USB to a mini USB adapter connector. Lastly, you get a mesh string carrying pouch. Alright, so this is the 15,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Both battery packs are the same in build, just different in their capacity. It has a smooth matte plastic that glides okay on a tabletop and looks overall like a portable hard drive. It's about 3.5 inches wide, 5 inches long, and the thickness is about half an inch, and weighs close to a pound. The top has a dimpled button, which I like. It prevents it from accidental pressing, wasting either the charge on the battery or the built-in flashlight on the battery pack. And that's what intrigued me with this battery pack. It has two USB ports, but the left outputs 2.4 volts, while the right outputs 2.1 volts. Not a big difference, but it's safe to consider them the same. There's a circle where the flashlight is, and the battery pack uses a micro USB port for charging. So I keep my battery pack in my car glove compartment, and it has worked great for me. It serves as a charger on the go when I leave my car, and while I drive, I can also charge it in my USB port. Best of all, if my phone dies, I still have a point and shoot flashlight to use. Now in terms of running out of charge in the battery, I never got to that point. I always had a good amount for my phone. And I don't think you should worry too, unless of course you're camping for weeks and don't have a place to charge. Now in my usage for the 15,000 milliamp hour battery pack, my phone was at 38% and after just 15 minutes, it went from 38% to 54%. And after 26 minutes, it went from 54% to 72%. So if we take the nice average and round up, you get about 1% each minute. Keep in mind, I did use my phone while charging. So you could get more if you leave it alone. Now to its last feature, the flashlight was its biggest plus. It's an LED bulb so the light is white and has a decent range when pointing to far off places. It shines pretty far, and I noticed it to start losing its shine at more than 12 feet away from your aimed target. Alright, well that does it for this full review. I rate this battery pack an 8 out of 10. I took 2 points off as it would have been cool if it had rubber edges for better gripping and setting on flat surfaces. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe for future content. Bye guys.